Here we are, fishing friends. Welcome along. Say hello, Mr. iPhone. Hello. Yes. I'm out on my own today, so I'm doing a self-take today. Talking to myself all day. I'm not really, I'm talking to you guys and girls. And yes, we're, uh, I'm after a late cod. Yes. Bassman's vlog, star date, 22nd of February, 2023. This can be one of the hardest months. February and March can be hard, you know, it's sort of like coming towards the end of winter and the spring fish haven't arrived yet. So yeah, I'm going for a late cod, man. Because I've only got one left in the freezer and uh, they won't be around for much longer. I mean, it's pretty late but the crabs are starting to peel. And that's my friends, is why they're here. So yes, see you in a bit. So here we are, guys just arrived. I've got a small crab there, the size is a Kamzan 2 uh, uptide, uptide hook, my all time favorite hook. I used to get those in uh, Seaview Angling like 15 years ago, go in and get a job lot. Yes, put a nice little crab claw on the hook and Mr. Circle hook at the back. So we're about an hour and a bit before low. So I'm gonna waz this out across the other side of the river, try and get into the deep channel, see what's about. Something going on there. fish or a crab. Well, I haven't blanked. <laughs> Caught a whelk. So if I get a few more, I've got a meal there, haven't I? Yeah, funny old things, whelks. You either love them or you hate them. I love them. Salt and vinegar, of course. Mmm. Coming out of his shell there, isn't he? Hello. That's the second time he's been up and down. Good effort. Chatting away to himself, I don't know what he's saying. Right. Just about low tide now. Just waiting here, waiting for that tide to turn any minute. So there we are, that's, uh, that's my new stand. Very nice. It's a lot heavier duty than the, uh, the 15 quid ones you get that don't last 10 minutes. Very chunky. It's got really nice uh, mechanisms on it. You can extend it, you can have it, you can have macro shots down here, you can do all sorts with it, man. So yeah, that will be my new companion. Yes. Ta-da! New stand. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Tide's just turning. It's bloody cold today, man. Seven degrees. <sighs> really cold. I'm just about maintaining my temperature. Do you know what I mean? I should have put the suit on, really. Uh, I've got the suit with me. It's just uh, last resort. Always be prepared. Ooh. So I've been here two hours now. I've had about, I don't know, four or five casts on each rod, maybe. 
lots of little stuff out there stripping it, you know, little hermit crabs, whelks, you name it, it's out there munching away slowly on the bait. Uh, but the crab activity hasn't been too bad, so I'm wondering if they're hiding. Crabs usually hide when predators come along, uh, especially gilthead bream. Uh, but I mean, cod, you know, cod are ravenous, they'll just come along and they'll take little small hardbacks like that. Every cod I've caught over this winter has had at least five crab in it. You know, they're only little crabs like this, but they, they just hoover them up. So yes, just waiting now. Waiting for a bang bang slack. Yeah, really tough this time of year guys it's uh it's not easy making the videos you know you can't you can't go out as you'll see you can't go out every time and nail it you know fish after fish after fish it just doesn't work like that uh but i have got an awful lot more time now to do this and that's the key is time you know hours equals rewards it's true what they all say the old cliche and you know fishing you only get you only get out of it what you put into it, the same as anything else, like cooking or whatever you're doing, like, you know? So you've got to, you've got to just keep trying, keep going, even through the bad times, you know? Try not just to sit there and watch YouTube videos all winter hibernating, because it's not good for you. You need to get out, you need to feel the air, you need to feel cold, you need to feel alive, and you need to catch some fish. Oh yes. Right, better check this rod, left hand rod, get a nice fresh bait out, ready for the tide. what I'm up against guys just come back in about 15 minutes gone that's been crabbed off definitely so good job I brought it in you know this is the most important time of the tide now so let's uh, get another crab on isn't it so yeah I'm just gonna put this uh, it's crab on now, but I'm going to cut it. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to cut it into about there, and then it's going to open up, and I'm going to thread it on like a worm. Yes, very easy to do and solves the problem of a nice long bait like that. So, I'm going to wrap this up now. Slide him on. A bit like a worm. And already, look, you can see there's a nice long bait there. Yes. Worst bit about winter fishing is the hands. Oh my god. Can I kind of start on the back so it's nice and like that, and then I'll pull it on the hook a bit more. There you go. Like that and then work on the, the front end. Very lightly whip. Try not to murder it, you know, try not to squeeze, squeeze everything out, leave something in there for the fish to smell. Very oily bait, peeler crab. There 
you go. I'll just put a claw on the end of that, peel a claw just to hide the hook. And now you've got the Stinger Rooney right there, baby. all clipped up running pat Yes, 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 my beauties. Mr. Cod, oh yeah. What a beauty. It was a good scrap, actually. I thought it was, um, it felt more like a bass or, or a, it was really, really going, man. It was like head shaking all the way in. I've just put a fresh bait on that. There's me dinner, guys. Yes, late season cod. Oh, that makes it all worthwhile. I've been sat there freezing my ass off. Yeah, freezing for two hours odd. And here we are, the tide's flooding in. And Bassman's come up trumps. I'm really, really pleased with that. Really pleased. What a beauty. Yeah, I'm just going to get the hook out then. And look, there's the main hook, the 2 Kamazan, out the gob. And I've actually hooked him right in the tongue. Look, right in the tongue of the cod. Ha! I'd, maybe that's why he was going so strong like, you know, he just didn't like it, did he? What a beauty, look. Circle look, stinger rig. Available on my website, on the rig shop. Yeah, fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. All these rigs on there, guys. Yes. All right, let's get him unhooked. And he is coming home for dinner. He ain't going back this one. No chance. So there we are, guys. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Middle of the afternoon. Devon cod, yeah? It's nice. On the pier crab. Circle look stinger rigs, banging, lovely. Goujons, beautiful man. Whew. Thanks for going joining me today, guys. Yes, 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 yes. What a beauty! Right. Time to knock this dude on the head now because he's obviously still alive and he's in distress there. So uh, yes, I'm going to be putting him out of his misery now. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, so here we are, the tide's flying in now. Strange color over there in the middle, looks like a dark line. Anyway. I've just had another bite and missed it. So yeah, it was a real good bite, probably another codling. And uh, I managed to shake it off, literally just as, just as I was hooking it, it shaked itself off. So I was a bit gutted about that. But anyway, got one in the bag. And I'm gonna have to, um, gonna have to I've, I've dispatched the fish, which is what you gotta do. Obviously, if you're gonna take something home for dinner, and I'm gonna actually gut that before I leave. And uh, 
obviously it's better to gut the fish where you are because you don't really want cod guts in your in your bin at home because they do stink. They you know they just eat anything, don't they? They're like, you know. So yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. We'll um, I'm just waiting for this water to come up a bit more so I can get to it because obviously I need to clean the fish. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's inside the little beauty. Yeah, so here we are, guys. Fillet knife, yeah? Very sharp, very sharp. So, here's Mr. Cod, looking a bit depressed now. He's, uh, he's been dispatched. So I'm just gonna uh, get the guts out of this one. And it's very easy. If someone else, if someone else is here, I could be actually showing you how to do this, but it's just a matter of opening up through the gut cavity, straight up, open them out, take out the guts. And if you want, you can have a look inside. So, we are talking about a great big, and it stinks, already stinks, oh my God. We are talking about a great big handful of guts like that in the liver there. And he's empty, mate. There's nothing in there whatsoever. There's his guts there. And there's nothing inside. He's empty. So I was really expecting to see a load of crab in there. So yeah, get rid of that. Because obviously that's, that's the bit that stinks. And I'll go and give this beauty a wash. Nice, clean, gutted. And look, the sunlight's just coming on it. Look at that. Thank you, Mr. Sun. You know, it's not a monster, is it? But it's dinner, mate. That is dinner. And it had nothing in its stomach. And I'll just show you, look. Nothing, nothing smelly going home, just the fish and the meat. So it's all been done, nice and clean. very happy with that I'm, I'm this is my smug face guys i am very happy oh what's going on there it's either a bit of weed on the line or it might be another bite yes there we are guys I'm just about done now and thanks very much for joining me this afternoon it's been it's been fun it's been a bit different I'll get used to this uh, get used to this new tripod and everything and yeah I caught a cod only one sorry just checking my rods there. there's a lot of debris and stuff going past there's a big tree out there I can just see yes we got the cod only one but I did bump one off soon after that. I, I had it on and boom, 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 and off it came. So obviously it wasn't hooked properly, yeah. I was using quite, quite sort of slim gape hooks today. The Camazans are quite slim and cod, cod have got big mouths. I didn't really need to use them, but I just like that hook, you know. And the crab baits are quite small that I'm putting out today. So I would just like to say, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for being there. Thanks for listening, watching, everything else. And do me a favor, guys. Um, if you can help me, subscribe. Down at the bottom, press the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny, right? It just means that you get my videos straight away. As soon as they come out, ding, you'll get an announcement. Whoa, bit of wind there, hang on a sec. case of wind yeah 
hit the subscribe button and if this has been recommended to you this video me bass man bass man's batty fishing if it's come up on your timeline and you've watched it and you've liked it just give it a little subscribe will you because it doesn't cost a penny and it's it's completely free and it's going to do me a favor i i i need more subscribers okay so yeah thanks very much and i'll see you next time Yes, the tide's absolutely hammering in now. I'm going to be surprised if I get anything else because uh, not really holding bottom, it's just going along. And there's five ounce weights on there as well. So, yeah, beauty. <sighs>
really tough at the moment because it's uh, it's a bit too fresh. And then up at the head there, I'll just release that nice bit there, look, down to the rib cage. So that's me down to the ribs there. So it's obviously it's got a nice rib cage. And then at the bottom, all I do is I go in with the knife and straight out the other side. It's a bit tough, as you can see. And then I'll angle the knife down and I'll just follow down that fillet and release the tail. So that's the tail done, yeah? And then all we do now is I'll just release a bit more here. See that? It's not a bad job, look. See, that there's, that's what I've left behind. And you can see, I mean, there's a little slither there and there's a little slither just there, look, that I've missed. But that's a pretty good job, yeah? And then this bit is a bit sort of roughy tuffy. Let's go right through the rib area there and that just releases, see? Like that, and then you just gently follow the line and release that fillet. And there we've got a nice cod fillet. It's not finished yet. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna throw the other, this carcass in the sink. So I'm not gonna show the other side because it's gonna take too long. And there, look, let's just check my shot. Yes, very nice. So there you've got your nice fillet there. And all we want to achieve now is obviously trimming these, this bit off here and the gut flap. Now, I don't know if you, any of you knew this, but round the cod tend to suffer from worm. They've got little worms inside the, the stomach cavity here. They're very, very, they're totally harmless. They're not gonna do you any harm, okay? But obviously it's not very nice eating a little worm, is it? So just here, I'm gonna trim that along one nice cut that goes in the bin and then obviously if you're gonna if you're gonna grill this fish that's enough you can leave the skin on the back and let's just trim that nice little bit off down there right but I'm probably just gonna fill it I'm just gonna skin this and then breadcrumb it because uh, cheeky girl likes it like that so the last thing is the the bones here so I'm gonna do what they call a v-cut okay there's, there's two different cuts. There's a J cut where you go away like this, and there's a V cut where you actually cut out these pin bones, these shoulder bones here that you've actually had to go through to get the fillet off. So all I do is look, I'll get the knife there, and the other side of that little row of bones, shoulder bones, and you might not get them all out, but you'll get most of them out. And then look, just literally just cut that away, what you've taken out, and that's it. That's it, that's the last bone. There's one bone there, which I've got. And there's one there, and there you go. So that's it, you've got a nice a nice fillet and it's pretty boneless. There might be one or two there. Um, yeah, and that's it. Really nice, fresh cod.